This past weekend, I decided to take a journey to San Francisco. I started off heading through Marin, and I was really happy to head this way because I'd never been to the Marin headlands before. Went through Sausalito and a little town called Strawberry, and they had a farmer's market there. I really wasn't filming as much as I should have, but I did manage to get some nice footage of heading across the Golden Gate Bridge, which is something I amazingly have never done before, even though I've been to SF a whole bunch of times by now and live in Northern California. It really is such a beautiful bridge, and I love how when you start to cross, the fog just covers you, and you're just like, hello, Carl. Hi. I always wonder about these houses that like face the bay. I don't know, does anyone know how much these cost? Because I'm interested, should I win the lottery? I am now in San Francisco after being in Marin for a really long time. And it is lovely here. As soon as you cross the bridge, it is cold and I get to wear a sweater and I haven't been able to wear a sweater since February. So this is lovely. Honestly, screw the weather of the rest of Northern California. This is very nice. After being next to the bridge, my hair has gone giant and I think that my makeup is lightly ruined. But anyway, off we go to the palace of fine arts. I parked in the Presidio and then I walked for quite a little while through the marina neighborhood and it's such a pretty area with so many beautiful houses that I'm sure cost tens of millions of dollars. A nice bracing walk through rich people neighborhoods. <sighs> pretty as that area is it is so windy or at least it was on this day and so I tried to take some photos and I headed out trying to get some lunch to get an uber and it was actually a really nice ride it was the first time i'd been in an uber since the pandemic started and he was playing classical music it was the most chill day i've ever had in san francisco usually something chaotic happens and someone yells at me on the street and that's just like part of the experience but it was so calm on this day and it was so nice to head into Japantown. I was really tempted to buy a bonsai. I went to Marufuku Ramen and ended up not getting any ramen because it had a 94 minute wait. But instead, I got to go to the local stores, which is really nice. I wanted to buy a teacup and maybe a Maneki Niko, uh, but I didn't. They were really expensive, but the store owner was so nice and he was really helping me out and figuring out the prices of things. So that was a really cute experience. The other place I went to was the bookstore because uh, I can't pass up a bookstore. I also really appreciated the sheer amount of Studio Ghibli stuff they had in that store. 
it really was like a whole quarter of the store. And it wouldn't be a complete trip if I didn't head City into the Castro at some point. It has such historic relevance and this was actually Pride Weekend. So I went and there was actually no Pride Parade because of Covid but there was like this little block party type of thing happening on the corner and it was honestly more enjoyable than I think a very corporate Pride would have been because people were just bumping music and dancing and it was honestly so nice. All good things have to come to an end though, so I went into North Beach in the hopes of finding some pasta, but it turned out that a bunch of pasta places had basically sold out and so I was left without the pasta of my dreams. Uh, I considered going into Chinatown because it was nearby, uh, but I'd actually had dumplings the day before, so I kind of left SF a little bit hungry, um, which is fine because all in all it was a very nice day and I enjoyed being part of a small pride celebration because I wasn't expecting to be able to do that considering the pandemic. And yeah, I was too tired to film much more. It was a really good day. I was enjoying my Myself. please be sure to like and subscribe i really appreciate it and i'll catch you next time